from Atlanta. I'm here for the first time ever. I've been visiting the set of the third film in the Divergent series, Allegiant. I'm gonna check out some of the sites and catch up on some miles and catch you up on some of the entertainment news worth knowing. Let's go. host to many artists including the late Whitney Houston very sad news this week uh, about the death of her only child 22 year old Bobby Christina Brown she didn't ever gain consciousness again after being found unresponsive in a bathtub here in Georgia in her home uh, she's gonna be laid to rest at a memorial funeral here this weekend in Atlanta and then buried side by side uh, with her mom her late mother in uh, New Jersey so really really sad why they call it Hot Lanta. Uh, I'm in the uh, Olympic, Centennial Olympic Park, uh, CNN over there, the world of Coca-Cola behind me and uh, the Georgia Dome as well. It's just beautiful, so green and amazing. Second story, Trevor Noah told us uh, what we can expect from him when he takes over The Daily Show. A couple of the changes, more impersonations, more accents, a couple of changes to the set itself and then he said less bashing of Fox News um, and obviously, of course, his perspective is going to be different, so he's going to give a different take on the stories uh, because of where he comes from, which is, of course, my home country, South Africa. Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, lots of film festival news as my last story. We got uh, word that Joseph Gordon-Levitt's The Walk is going to be opening the New York Film Festival, and then Jake Gyllenhaal has two movies opening up two festivals. Venice, it's going to be his movie Everest, and then uh, Demolition is going to be opening the Toronto Film Festival in September, directed by the man who gave us uh, uh, the Dallas Buyers Club movie and also Wild. Speaking of movies, well, movies based on famous books. This is where Margaret Mitchell wrote Gone with the Wind. I think I've worked off uh, the fried green tomatoes I ate last night, so I'm done. If you want to find out about the route that I ran, where I ran, uh, and more about the stories, you can check out MissEntertainment.com. See you next week, I'll be in Puerto Rico!